Howdy, howdy, you little god you, you little operant power you. Awesome, massive, amazing ability you. So, have you ever put out a desire, a prayer, your list, whatever, to what? The universe, God, source, all that is, Allah, you know, give me a name. Regardless, whatever you are pleading to or requesting to, Santa Claus, how solid are you that your prayer was heard? Truly. I mean, if it doesn't show up within a day, a week, a month, or whatever, do you find yourself asking again and again and again? (laughs) Because what? You have no proof. You have no solid knowing proof that whatever's out there heard you. And if what you want doesn't show up, isn't that even more proof that your prayer wasn't heard? Okay, so now, what is the one proof constant in your life? What is the one thing in your life that is sure? I mean, italicize and bold and underlined, sure. Surety beyond surety beyond I know, I know, I know. I know it was heard. What in your life? You, right? You. Because... When you, in your mind, think, oh, I would love to have that. Who's the first person who hears it? Who's the first person who thought it? Where did the thought come from? You! You felt it, you heard it, you knew it. And even with all of that, the minute you thought of that desire, let's say it's more money, let's say it's a love, let's say it's health, whatever, There are senses, such as smelling, taste, touch, you know, sight, that participated in that desire immediately without you trying. You could imagine seeing, right? If, you know, if it's health, you, you, without even noticing, without even knowing it, you effortlessly imagined health, whatever health meant to you. Maybe it's putting on a pair of pants easier. Maybe it's just moving easier. It, and it doesn't, you don't even, and the funny thing is, is the minute you try and find it, you know, whatever sense, sensory perception interacted with that desire, you're not going to find it. <laughs> Maybe you're sitting here going, oh, I'd love to get a bouquet of flowers. In that moment, there's a visual that occurs. Like just now, I just said flowers. And what kind of flowers are coming up for you? Is there just a color? Is there a whole bunch? Is there a smell involved? Is there a tactile? You know, you could feel it. You touched it. Whatever. There's all these things. Okay, so here's all this fun proof that your desire was heard. And it was heard by the one thing in your life that has never left your side. The one thing in your life that's there when you go to sleep and is there when you wake up. The one thing that has never changed. I mean, yes, we change age and we change personality, that kind of thing. But you know, when like beliefs change, you know, one minute you're believing wholeheartedly in Santa Claus. And then the next thing minute, it's like, oh, Santa doesn't exist. And then next thing you know, you believe wholeheartedly in, you know, a God. And then the next thing you know, you now are like, I'm God. You know, there's, there's all this fun, fun interaction with your world with shifting and changing and all of that but the one thing that has never 
ever, you, you haven't even contemplated not believing in yourself, right? Never, because you're always right there. You're always right there. You, you can find you the very second you want to find you. There's no searching around. There's no pleading. There's no what ifs. And the coolest thing is that when you want something, you have a desire, this version of you gets to put out a timeline too. You get to say how, you get to say where, you get to say when, if you want to. So with all that being said, Doesn't it seem like a really good idea that the one place you should be putting all your time, all your efforts of prayer and whatnot is right here? I don't mean me. I mean you. Who would you be if you prayed to yourself? What would life be like if you praised yourself? If you said, oh, thank you. Oh my God, look what you've brought me. Oh my God, that's tearing me up. Wow. Because right now I'm driving in one of my favorite places, which is where I live. And for how long did I have the desire, the the deep need, desire to live in the mountains with pine trees and lakes and weather and animals and right now massive amounts of yellow pollen (laughs) all over everything and fun weather I mean weather changes all over the place in the mountains weather when weather changes it's kind of obvious it's in your face (laughs) and now I do I do live here and I don't just live here I thrive here. Everything I want, the money, the house, the job, the fun, the people, the friends, it's all right here. So much so that I don't want to go anywhere. Regardless, to say thank you to me, not thank you universe, thank you God. You know, it's the whole relationship with an invisible being is very up and down and up and down and up and down, right? Because if you're not getting what you want, you think, you know, oh, you know, I got to ask again. I got to plead my case. I got to do it differently. Maybe I wasn't vibrating right. Maybe I wasn't in a good enough mood. Maybe I was the, ah, (laughs) fuck me. (laughs) Whereas with yourself, you know, immediately. Oh, I heard that. Yes, let's do that. That would be fun. And then when it does show, which it always does, you're so focused in on here, which is here, that you see it. You don't miss it. You're like, oh my God, look what I did for me. So my invitation to you is to look around at what you have physically, you know, camera, shoes, clothes, house, whatever, bank account, and say thank you. Say thank you to the one being that doesn't change, that doesn't come and go, that has never abandoned you, has never ever not listened to every single thing, every single thought, every single whimsical idea, every, every, everything. The one being that has never, ever left your side. And then let me know how that goes for you. Love you guys. <laughs>